49ers just kicked the crap out of the Arizona Cardinals, won their 10th game in a row and locked in the number two seed for the playoffs. It's hard to believe that this game was actually 14-13 at one point. The Niners are so much better than the Cardinals and the Cardinals are playing their fourth string quarterback and a bunch of backups. It seemed like the Niners were just kind of uninterested early on and ready for the playoffs to start. And then they locked in and destroyed the Arizona Cardinals. Let's start with Brock Purdy. Uh, he was under more pressure than normal, got sacked four times, still was almost perfect. 15 to 20 with three drops, three touchdowns, no turnovers, and a quarterback rating of 141. This guy had two throws to Kittle in the end zone that were freaking dimes. All of a sudden, Purdy's turning George Kittle into a red zone threat for the first time in his career. Also, Purdy, in addition to his mobility, he has a great ability to change his arm slot and throw sidearm in the face of pressure, which is a really subtle, nice thing about his skill set. Terrible quarterback sneaker. It's the one thing Jimmy Garoppolo does better than him. Everything else, Brock Purdy's better. Uh, another thing that was encouraging, the offense showed that it could run the ball with other people than Christian McCaffrey. Elijah Mitchell came back, averaged 11 yards per carry, and scored two touchdowns. Thank you very much, Elijah. Jordan Mason and Ty Davis-Price helped put the game away. They looked great. On defense, Diamador Lenore gave up a 77-yard touchdown in the second play of the game, but that was pretty much all the defense gave up. Tashawn Gibson had two interceptions on arm punts, a little bit like how he closed out last week. I wonder what would have happened to the Niners last year if he had been there safety instead of someone else. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Also, Jordan Willis had a sack plus a a, a, a strip, a fumble, a forced fumble. He's really freaking good. The Niners are really freaking good. Maybe their defense isn't as good as it used to be, but they have the best offense in the league, statistically. Okay, gotcha. Best offense in the league, statistically. Uh, it's gonna, they're, you're going to need a really great defense with a really great game plan to beat this team. Bring on the playoffs.